That is it, man. Alright, let's see here. Tractors. Trailers. Yeah, it's only 10,000. <laughs> For a small one. You can fetch your... Oh. Yeah, we have to go to the store to get it. Yeah, we're just selling it. Yeah, I'm gonna park this thing. Oh, a worker's in the other tractor. That's right. Wow, he's not plowing very good. <laughs> what the heck? He's like, I told him all I knew. huh? I told him all I know. <laughs> he's missing like the edges and stuff. You and not me. <laughs> it's funny because when your tractor goes by, it, I only hear the sound of it for like a couple seconds and then there's no more sound. To be honest, it's not even that like with me. I can't. <laughs> wow, this thing only does 20 miles an hour. I guess that's a bit more realistic than the. Uh, Biogas, where you can have a tractor that does like 60. <laughs> <laughs> I tried driving one that fast on the road, it's just impossible. What, did you see the bloopers video that I had? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that was because I was looking at my mobile phone as I was driving. And <laughs> <laughs> and things just went from bad to worse. I think I saw you flip over one of the trailers one time. And it might have been the um the sprayer. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a few times, yeah. Yeah, the physics in that game is not quite you know, hundred percent good. <laughs> yeah. I had, um, I hired, I hired a worker one time, and the combine spawned, and it was standing straight up in the air, and he was stuck there, and he had the, the, um, the header attached to the back of it, and it was, like, flinging all over the place. And I had to actually hit him with my tractor to knock him over so he would so he would start working. And then you have things where you buy equipment and you look in the garage and it's like flipped over. Yeah, that's annoying. It's like um you know, it's no big secret, I'm not a massive fan of the hay bailing. <laughs> Um, but when I actually put the, the hay bales onto the trailer, and I parked the trailer outside the, uh, the conveyor belt, ready to put them on, um, I think I saved the game, and I went back onto the game, and as I log loaded back into the game, the hay trailer just flew in the air, and all the bales went everywhere. So there's a bit of a tip there. <laughs> Alright, how do we fill up on gas? Oh, F is lights. R? No. E? No, that gets out. Shift? No. This thing is so fuel efficient, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. I think it's a hybrid tractor. 
Yeah, it's got the hybrid engine, but it looks like an old tractor. Look at David, he's running. <laughs> how do how do I fill this up with gas? What do I gotta push? We gotta pick up the other, tr the other trailer. It's at the shop. But the worker has the tractor. Can you stop the worker? I think so. Oh, he put. <laughs> David parked the combine in the, in the barn over there. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Stopped him. Right. He's probably plowing a field that's already sown. He's <laughs> out. So. That's my bad. <laughs> oh, it begins. <laughs> Let's see here. How do I drop this? There we go. All right, David. I'm going to pick up the trailer. You can f fill that. Um... He's running with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know how to fill the gas in that in that combine up? Gotta be. I thought it was R, but I guess not. There we go. There's grass over here too that you can mow. We don't have a mower yet. Well, we're right at barley, so uh, this is a side of wheat. Uh, canola, corn. Yeah, we have wheat, uh, canola, and corn. So, I'll grab the wheat. Canola sells for a lot. Oh, jeez. Do we have to push a button for the silo to empty? No, you just drive underneath it. It's not working. Uh, that might be barley and it might be empty. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought that was the wheat one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I thought, um, was it Luke, Luke, Lucas was going to join us? Oh, the name of the server is, um, wait, isn't he already in there? No? Oh, the name of the server is, uh, Gibson server, I think it's called. There's a filter option. You can just put filter and then it'll tell you, um, and ask for a name. Just put Gibson in there and then put save and then it'll bring up all the ones called Gibson. I think there's one there. Yeah, how much money do we have? Let's see. 46,000, can I buy another tractor? 
God. Tractors are expensive. Twenty-six thousand. No, oh, that's not really expensive. <laughs> I have to buy. Should I buy like the crappy ones or? Because the good ones are like a hundred thousand. Yeah, I think the crappy ones until we get a few fields going. Yeah. Okay. Okay, David. There's one at the um, shop. There's another one. Another tractor. I got the wheat. Where's that cell good at? Um, got the brewery. Yes. Where's the mill? The mill is left. If you leave from the, the starter farms down that road where the shop is. Oh, okay. I like the way you park combines in the shed, that's great. Yeah, that's what <laughs> David's over there doing that. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a true farmer. Gotta keep your equipment clean and undamaged. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. The only thing that's different is, like, obviously the graphics, but, um, there's not as many animals, um, but it's like you say, with it, if you buy the, the DLCs on Steam, then the features that I, I love about Agri Simulator, I suppose, promising they've, they've got those features in as well, haven't they? Well, the DLC just adds new, new com I think combines, equipment, um, greenhouses and all that. Yeah, a couple of greenhouses. I think tomatoes and lettuce and um, and the bee houses. And you can put them anywhere on the map. I think. Pretty sure. I just put a bee house by the starter farm. And I was getting like twenty-five, thirty dollars every couple minutes or something. So I guess if you put more, then you'd have more. And I think I don't know if you no, you don't actually get honey from. It's just like a um, you're getting the money randomly from selling honey, but you don't actually have to do anything. Okay. So they don't really add. They're not adding any micromanaging into it, really. It would be nice if they did that. Uh, it would be nice if they added a lot of stuff, but I think it's... I think this game is... Like games like these, they they um, they rely on the modders. Yeah. You know, they let the game, the the code, be open so people can mod it, and then they just they let the modders make the game. No, which is not bad, I suppose. Um.